What's up? So we just did a segment on the circuit playground, but <laughs> by Adafruit, uh, and I introduced it to you, but we did not get a chance to look at the code. So I'm gonna walk you through an example that I just made. Um, as you might not have caught, this is a beginner's board from Adafruit, packed with tons of sensors, as well as infrared um, transmit and receive. <laughs> abilities, which allow you to use it as a remote control or a distance sensor, so they can talk to each other using this, which is pretty cool. Um, also, the back is flat, and you can use it as a little name tag, too. So, it's it's pretty sensitive. <laughs> but what I've built here is, in honor of the 20th anniversary of Harry Potter, uh, <laughs> which is a little scary, um, we're building a sorting hat, so you can find out your Harry Potter house. Um, there, this is the Make Code by Microsoft uh, programming environment for block programming. It's very friendly for beginners. There's even a little uh, demonstration thing on the left here that shows you what's going on. Uh, the sparkle is not very obvious, but when you shake it, you can see what happens. Uh, and this basically allows you to see a red, blue, yellow, or green uh, house assignment. Red is obviously Gryffindor, yellow is Hufflepuff, Hufflepuff. Blue is going to be Ravenclaw, and green is, of course, Slytherin. Um, yeah, uh, so each of these blocks comes from uh, the menu over here, and you just drag and drop them into the interface to create a set of instructions. Uh, you can take inputs, for example, clicking the buttons or shaking it, or how you have the little slide switch positioned, or sensor inputs and things like that, like the accelerometer. Um, and there's more, there's so many more of each of these that they just couldn't fit. Um, but they've got sort of the most basic useful ones highlighted, which is fantastic, uh, to make it really easy. They've done a great job of making it so that you can jump in super easily, but also uh, move on quickly to more advanced things. In that same vein, they have an advanced menu that tells you more things like switching individual pins on and off, which you can connect to with uh, alligator clips. And then also, uh, if you hover over one of these, it gives you information about what it does, but also it gives you JavaScript code that's the equivalent of this block, which is great because if you look at a program like this, um, it's very friendly, bright and colorful and stuff, but you can also get tighter control if you just switch over to JavaScript and it has the exact same program that you've just written in text. And so you can, if you're more comfortable with JavaScript or you just want to feel cooler uh, or actually start learning the JavaScript code so that you can use it in other places, uh, then it, they make it really easy for you to do that. And this is really cool because actually a lot of robots, um, websites too, but also robot coding is, um, the development is being done in JavaScript these days. So you've got Node.js, you've got Node Red, which is a sort of drag and drop environment for more advanced JavaScript. Uh, you have NodeBots, which is this international open source JavaScript robotics association, and they have meetups all over the place. So JavaScript is a great choice for uh, moving on from here. And anyway, so what are we doing here? Uh, we've got this recurring animation that does a sparkle, uh, and you know you could set it for an arbitrary length of time because uh, it's going to happen forever uh, based on this loop. You have other loop options, you can repeat things a certain number of times, you can do things as long as this condition is true or false, uh, etc. And what I have over here is when it's shaken, and again, it's pretty sensitive, right? Uh, then I have this variable I called house, and I got that from the variables area, and uh, the default one you get is called item, but you can easily rename it. Uh, and then I have chosen to set it to a random integer from 0 to 3, uh, and then done an if and else if, etc. loop based on that. And that you can set how many else ifs you want in this little pop-up that comes from the options gear on the block itself. Again, uh, what they present to you straight up is very simple and intuitive, but it you can zoom in basically as far as you want to get more detail, more powerful options and stuff like that. So when I shake this, I find out I'm a Hufflepuff or 
A Gryffindor. Or... Probably a Hufflepuff again. Oh, yeah. Anyway, yeah. Oh my god. It's, it's really annoying, which means that I feel like kids are going to love this thing. Um, if you don't want to... Oh, yeah, you can, like, hit someone on the head with it. Uh, or you can mount it into an actual sorting hat if you want. Um, because it's, yeah, Harry Potter. So... <laughs> Uh, anyway, they've got all this documentation that you can go to, um, JavaScript references, more reference materials, and where to buy the Circuit Playground Express. The Express one is currently sold out on the Adafruit website, uh, but it's also designed more for developers, and it is, uh, in fact it says developer edition, and not all of the things are quite working yet. Um, I'm not sure if it was me doing the wrong thing, or what, but I was using this photon option that they have, which is really cool. It is, uh, if you remember the logo turtle, it was a little robot that you could drive around on a little mat and uh, use really simple coding directions. They use it to teach kids about computers way back in like the 90s, which was so cool. Um, and they've got basically a little version of that that just drives around the circle of uh, NeoPixel LEDs. And I was trying to make it set the colors to a specific, you know, set it to red and then drive around and then set it to blue and drive around and then green and drive around and it wasn't change the, changing the color. But <laughs> either I was doing it wrong or that's going to be fixed soon. Um, once they actually come on the market again, I'm sure that you're going to have a great time with this. And they've got so many sensors and stuff packed into it. Um, it's just, yeah, it's going to be... I think a big one uh, to contend with the micro bit. It's actually got more sensors than that. Uh, if you're not familiar with the BBC micro bit, it's got a five by five grid of little red LEDs that you can program with stuff. I think this one is actually more versatile. Uh, it is ten dollars more expensive if you care about that. Uh, so yeah. Then also there are a bunch of example programs on here. They have their own magic wand program. If you don't like my sorting hat, uh, then you can you know. I understand, it's fine, you can go code their magic wand instead, uh, and they have a really great tutorial on doing that, as well as a great image with pipe cleaners and rulers and stuff for the teachers who need to uh, have their kids build these. Tons of cool ideas, uh, and as you see there's like dozens of these examples, as well as really in-depth references on all the different types of blocks and things. Um, I'm going to actually rename this to hat because it's no longer a wand. And this is where you rename it down at the bottom of the window here. Once you're ready to do that, you just hit download and it downloads a file to your computer. Uh, we'll see that in a second here. And it's a .uf2 file, which is something that I haven't seen before. Uh, and then you just drag it. Oh yeah, I have to hit reset. and that's its little reset animation. Drag this new file onto the uh, C Playboot disk that appears. Of course, I got it plugged in to my computer with a micro USB cable, and then it's updated. So I didn't actually change anything in the code this time, uh, but you know, if you have made a, <laughs> made a change, it will show up immediately. And that's it! Um, you know, just play around with it. Get amongst it. <laughs> you can uh, very easily get started. And they even have a little get started tutorial um, in case you just really don't know where to begin. It comes up when you first open the editor. Uh, and it'll walk you through doing a simple light animation that plays a siren noise and flashes back and forth between red and blue lights. Go check it out! Circuit Playground Express, or if you have the old Circuit Playground, uh, you're limited to programming it in Arduino. The Express, you can program with the block editor, JavaScript, or Arduino, uh, and I highly recommend it. Yay! <laughs> Man, that's annoying.